What's up, everybody? Mike from Talking to Mike here with another review. And now this is another fan film. This is a fan film that's been out for a while. I just had a chance to watch it. Finally got to it. And also they requested it on uh, YouTube. It is called Roseblood. It is a direct sequel to Friday the 13th Part 7. Now, it's got the same actors. It's got uh, Shepard playing, the, the girl playing Shepard again. Uh... Tina Shepard, you got the Bad News Cruise, and uh, you got the beat up Jason. So, what it takes is, it starts off with, you've got Tina there, you've got her imagining Dr. Cruise, because he's dead, and then they go back to when she's young, and you've got her, you know, being in a science experiment, and they bring in this new person called Rose, so Rose Blood. Because she can do more things. And what they want to do is they want to bring Jason back. Now, the doctor has a uh, a good team of soldiers prepared for Jason if he does show up. They've even taken his old mask, the one in part 7, which was cracked in half. And re-glued it together along with a bodysuit and everything else. They're ready for him. So, they're doing tests on Tina and on Rose. And then they're prepared for, I forget, Operation something. But, uh... They try. They bring it. They, they try to use their their powers, and then Rose ends up killing a bunch of soldiers. She doesn't remember. And they find out her power is intense, but they still need Jason to come. So what they do is they try to put them both together with the serum, and then you've got Jason who awakens out of the water. It's pretty cool how they got. They I like how they have the arm of uh, I guess Tina's dad who's holding him. But he gets out of the water. He gets to the Crystal Lake. Science of Oblivion. Uh, no, CC, the Crystal Lake Research Facility, that's what it is. And starts killing everybody, causes a muck, gets his mask back. Just goes to town on everybody. And then Tina and Rose want to get rid of him. So Rose has this power, creates Michael Myers. They fight, and then Tina, they, they, they bring him back. And Tina wakes up with Tina back in the uh, in her present with, with the Jason, and gets rid of him, too, through a portal, I guess a time portal, whatever, while her boyfriend is there. It was good. I liked it. It was a, it was, it was a, it was a full feature, which is cool. Um, I would have liked to have more Jason than not just at the end. But I'll get to that after my scene that I like. So now the scene that I enjoy. There's two. Uh, the first scene is when Jason makes his, fi his first appearance at the research facility. So check this out. And there you have it. So you see the carnage. He takes care of everybody. Now, the second scene that I like is the one that puzzles me. So after I show it to you, I'll talk about what I feel about this one. So the second scene that I enjoy, that I thought was interesting, is the uh, after she summons the other person. So check this out. And there you got it, Michael Myers. She summons him to battle Jason. Uh, 
I didn't know that Michael Myers was in the same universe as of Part 7. I know in Halloween H2O and in, uh, I think it's at, uh, Bride of Chucky, they emphasize that Michael is in the same multiverse. But Part 7, I didn't know had that. I didn't. Li I did not like that. It was cool. Don't get me wrong. It was cool to see Michael battle Jason, but I was not a fan of it. Uh, another thing I wasn't a fan of is the uh, some of these soldiers. Their dialogue wasn't the best, and was not a fan of see also of the fact that it took a long time for Jason to arrive at the research facility. But besides that, I enjoyed everything else. It was fun to see the original actors come back for a sequel made for the film that they did. It was fun to go back in time and see what happened in the continuation. It was really cool. I would give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I recommend you guys checking it out. If you're a big Friday the 13th Part 7 fan like me, it is pretty cool. Uh, you got the old actors who come back in. Uh, it would have been cool if, if I would have got some more info on Tina's mom because you don't you don't really see her. She has a off camera kill except for when it's in a vision of her back in part seven. But it'd be cool to see how that happened. Uh, besides that, camera work was really done well. The sound was really done well. Uh, I like the mask they brought back part seven mask really well with the now we glued it back together. They did a really good job. Uh, the guy who did Jason costume did a good job too. You could tell it's a costume, but it was still really well done. Uh, the kills were very well done too. Like the visuals were well done, practical effects. So it was cool. I like to see them maybe do a sequel to something else. But uh, for now, check that out. The link will be in the description. Let me know what you guys think. And like always, if you've got a fan film or a short or a movie or a series that you want reviewed, send me that email. Follow me on social media. Let me know where to get it, where to see it. I'll pick it up or I will stream it and I'll watch it and I'll do my review. Also, if you're not following me on YouTube, which you know, you're watching me now, so obviously you are, but it is right over here. Click on the notifications whenever something new comes out. Uh, be on the lookout. All my new stuff's coming out. Pokemon. I've got the Rayquaza God. I've got Pokemon stuff coming out a lot. I've got my own stuff personally. So stay tuned and check that out. And you know what? Like always, if it not work for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So thanks for watching. Like always, I'm Talta the Mike. Take care. Straight from the shadow of